From the beginning of time, humans have always looked towards the sky for inspiration and guidance. There has been a fascination with birds, stars, gods, goddesses and other entities which seem to exist above us, and for many humans, a strong yearning to travel into space. Man has dreamt of flight since observing space and now it is time to become the space traveller. The future of space travel requires us to understand from where we came to see where we are going. Several thousand years ago, philosophers Mosey and Lu Ban from China were looking to the wind for flight. They invented kites using silk and bamboo, allowing for the later development of communication, measuring distances, testing the wind, and lifting men. The invention of the kite brought with it the desire to fly. The first known attempts at flight were typically by leaping off towers, known as tower jumping. People in China, India and Europe first attempted flight this way. In 1670, Francesco Lana de Tarzi published a book that showed some interesting concepts. The concept of copper foil in a sphere with a vacuum would produce a vacuum airship. This is still not possible with today's materials. Francesco is recognized as the father of aeronautics, melding science and mathematics into aerial navigation. The Chinese are believed to have developed the first hot air device. The Chinese lantern using hot air from a candle can take flight and was first used for signaling. The hot air balloon achieved the first human lift and advanced to what we know of as the Zeppelin. The first attempts at flight in a heavier than air flying machine were made by more than just the Wright brothers. Most attempts failed, however, they were the stepping stones for what was to come later. The oldest airport, College Park, is still in operation today. Airplanes evolved rapidly through the century, from propeller to helicopter to jet aircraft, and most of that technology is used today. During the Second World War, Germany developed rockets that could go a limited distance. The basic rocket technology used then is still used today. The space race started with the Soviet Union and the USA in 1957 and led to many developments for the next step, the Moon. The spacecraft assigned as Apollo 11 was the first spacecraft to have landed on the Moon. The space shuttle operated at tremendous cost, burning the fuel proved to be wasteful and dangerous technology. The International Space Station, ISS, is a habitable artificial satellite that was assembled in low Earth orbit in 1998 with the use of the Space Shuttle, the ISS can often be seen with the naked eye from Earth. SpaceX, as a private aerospace producer and space transportation services company, was founded in 2002 by Elon Musk with the goal of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. SpaceX reuses the first stage of their primary rocket, Falcon 9, by vertical propulsive landings. Although, up to present time, it still uses the rocket fuel burning technology. Mehran Kesh has always said, the time for burning fuels is over, but did we need to start with that technology in the first place? Ancient cultures have suggested the use of an alternative means of transportation. With reference to possible plasma technology, you can go to New York from Brussels within two to five minutes. And most of this five minutes is actually uh, landing and getting up. Mehran Tabakali Kesh was born in Iran in 1958. 
As the son of an X-ray engineer, he was introduced to the world of radiation and nuclear science at a very young age. In 1981, he graduated from Queen Mary, the University of London, as a nuclear engineer specialized in reactor technology system control. At that time, he developed a number of theoretical ideas related to more simple nuclear concepts and their applications. In 2002, he decided to finish the full design of his ideas about nuclear technology. This included the creation and control of gravity and energy by the use of nuclear materials in a clean and safe hydrogen reactor. Mehran Kesh introduced the concept of double magnetic fields to explain the magnetic and gravitational field of Earth. Unknown by the existing scientific community, he wrote a number of scientific papers in 2004 and sent them for peer review, such as the creation of black holes. When one of the persons performing the peer review used his information in public, he decided to draw back his papers and to concentrate further on building prototypes. Since the beginning of 2006, Several prototypes of dynamic reactors have been built, some specifically designed to create hovering effects, similar to effects seen with magnetic levitation. Basic hovering effects have been achieved. 2007 brought the first flight test with radioactive material, in which the patents describe the process of the field interactions. The main patent, Gravitational and Energy System, described the initial fundamental aspects of the plasma and uses. This was followed by the supplemental patent Microplasma Reactors, where further uses and advancements were described. Mr. Kesh found himself in Iran in 2008 and was provided all the resources needed to create the first lift of a plasma reactor managed by the Iranian government. These special rotating gas reactors were used to control the plasma. To bring a deeper understanding, Mr. Kesh released the first book in 2009, The Universal Order of Creation of Matters, which contained many new concepts released to the public. This included the PMTIC plasma magnetic fields, initial fundamental plasma and plasma dilution technology used for space reactors. The plasma technology was further developed and it manifested in weight fluctuation in a controlled environment. 2010 introduced a new state of matter called GANS, an acronym for gas in nanosolid state. The GANS produces fields to be used in the operation of the spaceship. Advanced flight tests were performed in Iran with the guidance of Mr. Kesh and the newly designed systems. Mr. Kesh tells us you can't bring all the doctors with you in space. Medical research advanced in 2010 and is still being explored daily all around the world. The Cash Foundation has provided knowledge for dealing with many medical conditions in space. A great example of plasma technology used for peaceful process is the capturing of the USA drone over Iran in December 2011. This drone was touted as one of the most advanced drones of its day and was caught by Iran using plasma to disrupt the communications. Plasma absorbs fields and the drone uses radio fields for piloting. A natural aspect of the plasma, a barrier of fields. Book 2, The Structure of the Light, was released in 2011. This book brought forward the understanding of the structure of light as a cylindrical plasma where the light is in possession of all magnetic field strengths. Book 3, The Origin of the Universe, was published later in 2011. Mr. Kesh explained the further operation and interaction of different strengths of the same fields, which then leads to the creation of the universe. These three books bring forward a much deeper understanding of the plasma and scientists in spaceship research and development. There were two conferences to release the space technology to governments in 2012. The first international presentation in April, Kesh Foundation invited representatives of every country to the first presentation of the plasma technology. The second international presentation in September, Kesh Foundation invited the nations of the world through their ambassadors and their leaders to attend a gathering at the Kesh Foundation Centre in Nenov, Belgium. 
Space travel requires peace. The implementation of the plasma technology brings greater responsibility. In 2013, Mr. Cash brought forward the World Peace Treaty. Signing of the Peace Treaty is a confirmation from yourself to your soul to act correctly in a peaceful manner. In 2014, knowledge seekers came together from around the world to learn from Mr. Cash and many different experiments with reactors were performed, including improving the previously developed reactors to fit with the new knowledge, introduction of nano-coated reactors, multi-core GANS systems, the Spaceship Institute lab experiments were streamed live on the internet for all to see. SSI lab tests with reactors showed strong magnetic field pulses up to 129 Tesla and showed significant weight fluctuations. In December, an experiment was performed using reactors built by knowledge seekers from around the world. Italy, Germany and Canada were involved in field communication tests. The tests showed that fields can interact with each other no matter the distance or time, resulting in instant communication. In 2015, developments for space continued with different aspects of the plasma technology, such as in health, energy and decontamination. In October of 2015, Mr. Kesh taught a popular week-long course called the Blueprint Teachings about how to build the Magrav power units. People from all over the world participated with building their own Magrav units and teaching others. With the demand of the Kesh Foundation products from all over the world, a new research center and manufacturing opened in Arizona, USA. Many developments of the technology happened in different parts of the world, and Kesh Foundation USA is no exception. John and the team started performing experiments using different sensing tools. These tools allowed the team to visualize the MoGrav fields and to show others their interactions. With reactor formations showing positive results, partaking in the knowledge together is easier and more joyful than ever. The fun has just begun, says M.T. Kesh. Mr. Kesh publicly teaches the space technology through the weekly Knowledge Seekers workshops. Plasma enthusiasts from around the world participate in gathering the knowledge and putting the puzzle together in the space race. All people, irrespective of race, nation or religion, are invited to participate in the exchange of knowledge, thus assisting humanity to live within the ethos of the universe. It is recognized that international cooperation and peace is a prerequisite for mankind to journey into deep space. Individuals and nations are invited to come together in the spirit of collaboration and unity to enable peaceful application and the use of plasma technology for space travel, food, agriculture, energy, transportation, health and more. We are excited to release the Keshe Foundation Spaceship Blueprint to humanity.